Barbados, a paradise in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, an island loved by the British royals, the Canadians, the Americans, and of course, the Italian as well. The great Luciano Pavarotti used to spend long periods of time here at the Sandy Lane Hotel. Let's go around and see what's Italian on the island. Welcome to the Italian Affair. Barbados, what? Oh, it's a unique product. We're still quite different from any place else. It's hard to get to us, but once you're here, it's paradise. Been here a long time. I'm 50 years now in Barbados. I wouldn't live any place else in the world. My island is absolutely fantastic. Again, like Italy, Barbados, the people are the most interesting. They're very friendly. Many islands in the Caribbean are, have beautiful beaches, lovely climate, but for Barbados, what stands out is the, definitely the culture and the people. Let's talk about this Italian in Barbados. I came here in the 2013 on vacation for four weeks. I literally fell in love with Barbados. Well, the Italianess and the Italian are really appreciated to the Barbadian people to the point that my husband chose me. I didn't choose my husband. So he's Barbadian and I'm Italian. Well, an Italian in Barbados uh, can be challenging. Definitely we try to uh, to bring a piece of Italy in Barbados. You know, every day there are some new products that come in the island and most of the time we import our own products from Italy just to have uh, the closest cuisine to the Italian cuisine. Of course, we try to follow the, the original recipe, but then uh, even the clientele change. The office is not bad because we are right on the, on the Caribbean Sea and the people are very friendly. We keep it simple and over the years, we also adapt ourselves to the customer needs. Well, the shop opened in 1991. We were a catering business before, and our benefactors were Countess Carla Cavalli and Count Tio Rossi, both Italian well-known people. And they were our benefactors, and we started uh, importing uh, prosciutto di Parma, primarily for them, because they needed their Parma and their salami. We are a broad line distributor, so we try and bring a, a wide variety of stuff. The Italian section of products that we bring ranges everything from prosciutto back to um, Parmigiano Reggiano, to oils, to vinegars, to anchovies. Such a broad product mix. If you come at Corky's, you can find an authentic Italian menu. You can find bruschetta or bruschetta, how they say in English. You can find authentic Italian pizza. I love to say authentic Italian because the product to do all my dishes are from Italy. You can find Italian wines. The ambience is friendly, is really nice vibe. Local people, Belgian people are, um, are fascinated by Italy and Italian products. Uh, I can say that, of course, the most common things like can be a pizza or pasta or lasagna, what is very popular. Well, there is Italianity in Barbados. There have been people that have been in the island for years. For example, Jews that they used to be in Mamma Mia. Italian products. Uh, the balsamic vinegars are hot. The balsamic glaze are really, really hot at the moment. People come in here and buy them by the case, literally. You just missed the woman who bought her balsamic glaze by the case. <laughs> um, the prosciutto di Parma outsells any ham. The Italian wines do very well. The Antonori's are fabulous. The Sassicaia, the Tignanellos, the big Tuscans always sell. Oh, Italy is a wonderful, beautiful country. The variety of uh, products, especially with food that is available, and, uh, and the history, it's fantastic. You can't beat the prosciutto, you can't beat the cheeses, the reggiano, the balsamic, the oil, olive oil. I just enjoy the culture more than anything else. We had a good time together. It's time for us to catch a plane and continue our journey in search for Italianists around the world. 
keep following me. Arrivederci.